My name is Calvin Kimbrough and I'm with Maxim Integrated. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Max 11131 Bob or Breakout Board. The Max 11131 features an ADC or an analog to digital converter, which essentially takes any analog input signal, such as a sound coming into a microphone, and converts that into a digital output signal. As you can imagine, ADC has a variety of use cases, uh, especially in industrial systems, health systems, and sensor systems. Uh, some of the key features of the Max 11131, which make it so great, is that it has very low power consumption, a small package size, um, programmable input sample rates, and configurable analog input channels. So the Max 11131 breakout board is great because it allows you to really speed up your development process. Um, it allows for rapid prototyping because you're able to interface this breakout board with any embed or Arduino platform. And so you're able to just hit the ground running with your design. Um, you know, to get this started, what you have to do is that you take a micro USB cable, you plug that into the HDK port of this embed board. Right now we're using the Max 32625 embed. Then when you download, copy, and compile the code uh, from embed.com, then you use you uh, take the plug from the HDK and you put it into the dev port and you use a serial terminal emulator to interact with the board, such as TerraTerm, RealTerm, Putty. There's a variety of programs for this. Um, in this in this demonstration right here, what we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to be reading the voltage off of a AA battery. So in order to get started with that. What thing we want to do is we want to have control to see if the program is working properly. So for our cases, we have a multimeter here to read off the voltage. So if we look at our DC voltage right now, we have a reading of 1.311 volts. So that's the voltage reading from this AA battery that we have hooked up here. And as you can see in the embed and the breakout board, we have our positive terminal connected to A in zero and our negative terminal connected to ground. So if we go to our serial terminal emulator here, right now we're using real term. If we press question mark, then we get a variety of options for how we can interface with this board. Uh, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press one and then channel is equal to zero because we have our positive terminal connected to A and zero. So if we press enter on that, as you can see, we get a reading of 1.311 volts exactly what our multimeter reads. So it's, as you can see, it's super easy to get this development board up and running. Um, it's use cases cannot be understated for any of your future projects. Um, the rapid prototyping of it is great, but you can also fork the code into any of your future projects, which is also a huge boost to productivity. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Calvin Kimbrough again. And this is the Maxwell 1131 breakout board.